bullets are flying all over. And I'm shouting and screaming for everyone to get out. And my granddaughter looks at me and saying, Grandpa, why are you bleeding? The rabbi who came face to face with the gunman at a Poway synagogue describes a nightmare. Tonight he talks about survival and a devastating loss as well. Tonight the woman who died in the synagogue attack is being remembered. And those who knew her are relying on their faith to get through this painful time. KCO 9's Christy Forjardo is live in Poway where a vigil tonight drew a large crowd of people seeking healing. An act of hate sparks a show of love. This vigil draws a crowd so massive, many had to park blocks away. Community members from all faiths united by grief and the belief religion should make us better, not divide us. It's been a really overwhelming 24 hours um, to think that this is happening two minutes from our house in our backyard. <laughs> Earlier in the day, an emotional embrace outside the Chabad of Poway. Rabbi Yisroel Goldstein lost a finger in the attack. He returned to his synagogue Sunday with a bandaged hand and a heavy heart. I turn around and I see a sight that I... Undescribable. Here is a young man standing with a rifle pointing right at me. He credits his longtime friend, Lori Gilbert Kay, with saving his life, but she lost hers. <laughs> Kay's best friend tells us the 60 year old's last selfless act surprises no one. If anybody knows Lori Kay, they know her because she gave you something. She brought you soup, she gave you a gift card. 34 year old Almog Parrots survived the attack, but took a bullet in the leg while carrying children to safety. This was like a pretty big piece. The fourth and youngest victim was hit in the leg and face by shrapnel. Eight-year-old Noya Dehan's family moved from Israel to escape terrorism, only to find terror here. My uncle, he was holding my hand and he was like grabbing me and stuff. And the person who was shooting, he was aiming at him. So he, it hit him and the like, where it's like, well like that, it hit me too. Now at a young age, she bears reminders that to a person so filled with hate, no life, no place is sacred. And the crowd of mourners who gathered in this park tonight say they wanted to remember Kay's last selfless act of courage, not the gunman's act of hate. Kay leaves behind a husband and a daughter. Her funeral is scheduled for tomorrow. Live in Poway, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.